In this video, we're going to look at sequences and describing their rules. So, here's a typical question, and it says, here are the first four terms of a number sequence, 7, 12, 17, 22. Write down the next number in this number sequence. So whenever you're looking at a number sequence like this, the most important thing is you do is find out the rule. So to get from 7 to 12, you would add 5. So you'd add 5. To get from 12 to 17, you would add 5. To get from 17 to 22, you'd add 5, and so on. So as you can see, this rule is, uh, just is generated using the rule, adding 5 each time. So it says write down the next number in this number sequence. So we'd add 5 to 22, so that's going to be 27. And next, give a number for your reason. Um, the sequence is increasing by 5 each time. And 22 plus 5 equals 27. That's just a really quick way to give a reason for it. And this is work out the 10th term in this number sequence. Um, now, don't make this mistake. Some students think, well, the fifth term, you know, the first, second, third, fourth, they think the fifth term is 27 and then you can double it to get 54. That won't work. Let's just see what happens if I carry on the sequence. So 27, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's carry on the number 5 terms. So that's 32, 37, 42, 47. Let's just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Add one more 5, 52. So the 10th the term is equal to 52. Another way to do it would be to work out the nth term of the sequence. If you know how to do that, watch the video on it. You could work out the nth term for the sequence. So you do 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And then the nth term would be 5n plus 2. And then for the 10th number, you'd do 5 times 10, which is 50, plus 2 is 52. But the simplest and quickest way to do for it is something like 10 terms is just to carry on the sequence. Next question. And then it says, here are the first four terms of a number sequence. 5, 9, 13, 17. Write the next term. So what's happening in the sequence? We're adding four, adding four, adding four. We're adding four each time. So we'd add another four, so it's going to be 21. So the next number in the sequence is 21. How did you find your answer? Uh, again, the sequence is increasing by four each time. The sequence is increasing by four each time and 17 plus 4 is equal to 21. Now it says here the 25th term of the sequence is equal to 101. Work out the 26th term. Well the 25th is 101. As we've said, we've said the sequence is getting bigger by 4 each time. So to go out one more term you just add another 4. So you do 101 plus 4 which is equal to 105. So the 26th number is equal to 105. Okay, next question. Here's a different number sequence which begins 4, 1, minus 2, minus 5. Write down the rule for the sequence. So the sequence starts with 4, and they're subtracting 3, so subtract 3, subtract number 3, subtract. So the sequence starts with 4, so the sequence begins with 4 and decreases. Uh, by 3, or it goes down by 3, or decreases, or take away 3 each time. Last question. Here's a number sequence, 54, 51, 48, 45, 42. Write the next number, well, what's happening? Take away 3, take away 3, take away 3, take away 3. So take away number 3 would be 39. So the next number in the sequence is 39. And write the rule for continuing the sequence, well, subtract 3 each time. Subtract three each time and that's it so that's how you should describe that's how you can describe rules of sequences you describe what's happening so this one it was said write the rule for the sequence so begin with four and subtract for each time this one said continue in the sequence so subtracting for each time and so on